Hey everybody, Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm standing here in front of an awesome listing that's actually going live today. It's in the Fontenelle Forest area uh, uh, in Bellevue. It's 1.1 acres, totally full of trees. I mean, there's trees all the way around. Um, I'll, I'm, I'll spin that around here in a second. It's a custom one owner built ranch, about 4,400 square feet. Uh, it's going live today. $439.9 is the asking price. It's price to sell at that kind of a price. Mark Christensen, what's up, my friend? So I'm going to spin this around again. If you know of someone that's looking for a mini acreage, these products or these properties, I should say, are really hard to find. And when we do get the acreages listed, they sell quickly. We sold six acreages in 2019, and they all moved very, very quickly. So. This is a custom one owner, true ranch on 1.1 acres in the Fontenelle Forest area of Bellevue. I'm gonna spin it around here so you guys can take a look. So you can see it's, it's on a super quiet road, trees all around. It's really, really private in the back. And the house has, it's a sloppy mess right now, but the house has all the amenities you would expect in this price point. Open floor plan, granite counters, rich cherry cabinets, stainless appliances with double oven, heated tile floors. So here's the kitchen area. Again, it's open to the great room, beautiful crown molding throughout. Got the fireplace kicking because it's a little chilly today, but neutral colors. I love this room. It's a sun room, sun porch right off the, right off the great room. There's a shot of the back, super private, all trees. I'll step out there here in a minute. So again, this is going live today. I think my assistants are back in the office putting it in the MLS as we speak. 453 Washington in Bellevue, listed for only 439.9. Hey Amy, how's it going? You'll probably see my kids walking around the hood a lot more since they're off school this week. But when I was down here on Saturday meeting with the sellers, we had about seven or eight deer that walked up on the patio Turkey, it's, it's, it, there's a ton of wildlife. It's really, really nice. Granite counters. Again, this is the master bath. Heated tile floors. Granite vanity. It's got a really nice, large ceramic tile shower. Large walk-in closet then that then wraps around into the main floor laundry. which is basically right next to the mud area, right off the garage. So very well thought out house, great functionality. It's a well-built house, neutral colors, light trim and cabinets back here in the laundry and mudroom area. I'm gonna show you the garage here. It's an oversized three car. So you can see there's your three stalls, but you've got all this space back here. So it's a really, really good size three car with a walk-up attic. And then that area over there, I'll walk over here. It's a four by four hoist. So if you have really big or heavy things to put up in the attic, that's how you do it. A lot of function and thought went into this custom home. This is a second stairway that goes down to the basement. Again, really nice if, if you're moving things in and out of the garage into the mechanical room or the storage rooms. And then this, I love this feature here. It's a dog shower or a dirty man shower, but it's in the, it's in the garage. Really makes a lot of sense. I've only seen that a few times. 
but you, you got a dirty dog because you're out here on an acreage, you just bring him in the garage and shower him up. So again, here's the shot into the open floor plan, sunroom, dining area, and it's all around the kitchen. So this is a four bedroom. There is a non-conforming bedroom in the lower level. The bedrooms are really nice size. Amy Goodfellow Harrington in the ATL. How are you? Been a while. So you can see these rooms are really nice size, nice ceiling fans, beautiful trim. All the bathrooms have granite countertops, tile. There was really no feature that was not put into this house when the sellers built it. Again, this is a custom one owner ranch on 1.1 acres in the Fontenelle Forest area, only 439.9. So this is a bedroom, Mr. Seller works from home, so this is his office, this is what he gets to look out side to every day. Paper patio out back there, just great for entertaining. Corona escape house, I love it, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind being quarantined here. That's actually a, that's a great idea. Who could see themselves quarantined in this house? Okay, I'm not going to joke about it, but we've all seen and heard enough about it. Got to try and bring some humor in, I guess, Corona, COVID, whatever. I'm sick of it. So here's the lower level family room. Very nice, nice and warm. We've got a wet bar. Just great for entertaining. And then, one of my favorite features of the house, we've got this awesome theater room. The projector will stay. Got the tiers we walk up onto here. Bob Marble, how's it going, buddy? Theater rooms have become really, really popular over the last couple of years. This is a great room. Coffered ceilings. Look at the detail in the crown molding and the trade lights. It's a beautiful home. So again, this is going live today. These ranch mini acreages are really, really hard to find. So if you know someone that's been looking, let me know. The six acres or the six acreages that I sold in 2019 all sold very quickly. And this house is absolutely beautiful. Lower level bathroom, tile, granite, oil rub bronze fixtures. Now this is another bedroom and this is pretty cool. So looks like we've got a built-in bookshelf, but this is either a large walk-in closet or an escape room. That's what the sellers had it built for. So there's pretty much every feature has been put into this house that you could think of. But I'm going to step out back here real quick. Now this is the this is the staircase that goes up to the garage that I showed you a second ago. Again, it dumps right down into one of the storage rooms. Oh, there's Mr. Seller. Say hi, Tom. Hey. <laughs> so it makes a lot, of, a lot of sense to just be able to move some things right from the garage. You can put some items here for storage. And then we've got a huge storage room and the mechanical room right here. New hot water heater, high efficient furnace, water softener, reverse osmosis system. Pretty much everything that you can think of, this house has it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, in addition to the treed and private 1.1 acres, it's all fenced. So if you have a little dog or a dog that's a runner, you don't need to worry because it's all fenced in. I'm going to step out there here in two seconds and 
Need to grab my shoes. So this is 453 Washington Street in the Fontenelle Forest area in Bellevue. It's basically on a private road. There's only three or four houses on this road. You'd never even know it was here unless you had to come here. So here's the back. Super private, quiet. Literally when I was here the other day, there was seven or eight deer right up here eating some seed. Got a cool fire pit area out here. I'm gonna walk back here a little bit, but it's a little muddy. Show you guys kind of the back of the house. Great entertaining house. All kinds of stuff that could go on back here. Look at that, you guys. Super private. Hear the birds? Has a side load, three car, well, three and a half car garage, oversized three car. Here's the back of the house. Great paver patio. A lot of pride of ownership in this home with it being the original custom one owner. So anyways, guys, if you know of someone looking for a fantastic private wooded acreage, it's a mini acreage, so there's not a lot of maintenance. Some of those big acreages, you have to do a ton of work to. It's just a lot of upkeep. Uh, this is pretty much, there's really nothing to do. You're going to have some leaves here and there, but other than that, you just hunker down and hang out and enjoy the woods. So if I can do anything to help, whether it's a friend, family member, or coworker, please keep me in mind. You guys uh, have a good week, and uh, I'll just say it. Remember to wash your hands. Talk to you later.